Hey there, this is Gary Chambers of Tractor View doing a short video walk, <laughs> walk around of the limited Dodge, as I said I would, um, in looking at sort of the contenders for a new truck. The limited Dodge was definitely one. Fortunately, they had one down at the dealership that I did take for a test drive and really loved it actually. A couple of the features that I like about this Dodge is it actually comes with the factory Armour Thane. Um, box, which some of the others do too, but it seems like this everyone I've looked at has it in this one. 20-inch uh, rims, very similar to the F-150 and the High Country Chevy. Um, obviously, the Limited, um, different than the Longhorn, it comes with the black, a little bit less cowboy theme, and um, I don't mind that. I mean, I'm a farmer. I'm not a cowboy necessarily, and I know the cowboy has a great following with the Dodge, so... I can understand why they have it, and I can also understand why they have the Limited. Great looking truck, uh, has the Hemi in it, has all the same features that you find in the Chevys and the Fords. Um, this has a similar style of running board that's on the Chevy. Um, I prefer the fold down running boards, but that's just me, other guys like these ones. Rear slide window. Um, let's just take a look inside. Like I said, 5.7 liter Hemi badge that way. Really a great looking truck. Um, still kind of has, you know, the, the black. The wood grain in here is also actually a wood grain, which I like. Um, the interior of the truck is really nice. Has the limited badging. Uh, the chrome kick. <coughs> From the inside, um, again, 8.3 inch touch screen has the you know a really nice console it does have the push button which is not my favorite but it's certainly something that is um, uh, the direction that a lot of these trucks are going pretty innovative park reverse neutral drive turn dial which is different um, has the neutral touch screen in the center and as I said also has the touch screen here really nice gear commands has a heated steering wheel which is one of the only trucks that has the heated steering wheel which I actually really love heated and cooled leathered seats um, again just a really nice looking truck um, still has a little hump in between the consoles which I don't love uh, it feels like it takes up a little space as compared to the Ford has the sunroof um, Good cluster of instrument, got a 110 there, um, got a single 12 volt there, really deep console, has this really large interior box and a secondary click one, which is nice. And in this cluster here, I did notice that it has an SD, your USB um, panel, so that's kind of a cool, an auxiliary plug-in for sound systems. Really, the leather is very nicely appointed. By far, I'm not a big Dodge guy, but this truck super impresses me. I also really like that it's got this little spot up here, which for me, I like because I can put my cell phone there, or it's also got this flat one down here, which I really, it's got a lot, an abundance of space to put stuff, and I really like that in the Dodge. Uh, it's going to be a tough decision. I don't know. I'm quite torn because to be perfectly honest, um, this truck is a very serious contender for my dollars. Uh, list price out very similar to the Platinum and to the um, Chevy High Country between 63 and 65,000 lists. So, anyways, that's my short little review of the Dodge Limited. Um, I was just lucky enough to have one in town, so I thought I'd share it with you. It's in the running. Anyways, thanks for watching.